Hi, welcome to Viewpoints with Ascendus Travel. I'm your host, Joe, and with me today is our president, Brent Blake. Hi, Joe. Welcome, sir. It's glad to be here. Yeah, it's been a while since we've had you, and uh, in the past, you and I have dove into the aircraft, and we've also dove into rental cars and what it's like. So you and I have both been out on the road quite a bit lately, and I wanted to talk to you about your hotel experience. Yeah, it's different when you go out on the road it is, now, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. yeah. I'm finding that uh, you walk into the hotel and there's not a lot of people standing around the lobby and uh, there's less staff walking around the hotel and so it's definitely different. Yeah, the other thing that I've noticed as far as staffing is a lot of times the, the bar and restaurant areas aren't open, right? Or they're limited time frames that they are open and, and when you do go in there, they have you spaced out and there's very few uh, people in there or maybe there's not even snacks offered or anything like that anymore. Yeah, and I'm also seeing uh, housekeeping, you know, cleaning of the rooms. I checked in t uh, last week and they said they're not going to provide housekeeping. And I said, what? And, uh, <laughs> and they said, uh, well, if you want it, you can opt in. So I immediately opted in to have my room cleaned. But it's the first time I've ever been asked to opt in for housekeeping. That's interesting, yeah. And certainly I haven't seen uh, any valets or anything like that in the last few that I've been in. I don't know what you've experienced from that standpoint. Yeah, a few valets and even the bell staff you can right. tell is uh, considerably less than what it used to be. Yeah. And then definitely what we've been hearing from our clients, Brent, is more of the feedback uh, specifically with the restaurants, like the breakfast and stuff just isn't the same as what it was as far as uh, the buffets being out. You're still being given the you know, maybe the muffin with inside of the plastic bag, if you will. Yeah, it is uh, it is limited and um, you definitely know that they've had made a conscious effort to to in install COVID procedures. Yeah. And um, it's really, I think it's impacting their service level. And I think the big question is, is just how long this is right. going to last. Yeah. So do you think that it is more around COVID? I mean, I know that created it. Where do you think it is now? If 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 all of a sudden our numbers turn a lot better in the fall or something to that effect. Do you think we'll see that staffing come right back right away? You know, that's a great question. The uh, The numbers of the hotels, the airlines, the rental cars right. are all increasing. And so the question really is, is why is the staff not where it used to be? And so I think it's more an indication of the shortage of labor that a lot of different industries are dealing with. But I think there's a little suspicion as well as uh, maybe if they don't bring back staff as fast, Maybe they can make a little bit more money. Gotcha. I do know in our BCD survey out to 3,000 clients that they send it out to that the number one one listed as far as uh, issues that they're having on the road was their concerns was was lack of staff. Yeah, lack of staff, reduced services. Yeah. And their second complaint was increasing prices. So uh, in, uh, that's not really a great combination if you're in the ho hotel industry. Yeah, well, I know it's not really the hotel industry, but even when you're in the airports and they're packed with people and you see the gates down on past restaurants and stuff that were always open and it's noon. Yeah, and there's 30 people standing in that line to, to get a hot dog. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I had to grab a candy bar instead of having a lunch. So, uh, you know, that's bad news for me. <laughs> it is, especially if you're going to eat a candy bar. <laughs> Well, Brent, I appreciate you being here today. I guess our message out is that hotel obviously has been impacted just like when you're on an airplane or in a rental car and uh, maybe even so in a lot of ways. And it might be a lot longer until you see the same experience that you were used to uh, pre-pandemic. I would agree. Well, thank you again for being here. You bet. Thanks. This has been Viewpoints with Ascendus Travel.